applaud my colleagues who choose to stay and fight rather than leave Maryland and stay in the place they call home. They deserve credit for recognizing the risks they take. The rest of us physicians, patients, neighbors, community businesses, it is our responsibility to come together as a group and to make the necessary changes in Maryland to make this a safe place to practice medicine. We need to begin to start talking to our legislators, coming together in a formidable force here in Annapolis, hand in hand, cause in heart. If we don't do this, no one will do it for us. All must participate or we are destined to failure. There is a fifth alternative, and this is scratched in in pencil as I thought about my speech, and I did it last night as I was sweating over, am I gonna remember what to say? The fifth alternative is to keep the present system, but to demand health insurance reform. We can work with our present system if we just reform these healthcare insurance industries. To that end, we, Maryland's patients, physicians, physicians, business leaders, come together here in Annapolis to start a campaign February 18th in Annapolis on Lawyer Mall. We hope that this will bring our legislators in touch with the present crisis, help take back control of health care from the greedy health care insurance industry and place it back in the hands of its rightful owners, the patients whose health care depends upon this and the physicians whose responsibility it is to provide it. Yeah. To that end, medchi.org, your website, medchi.org, will keep track of the report card of your legislators. They will find out how they vote on these bills that are being brought forth to the legislator. Follow medchi.org. If your legislators are not voting the way you want them to, call them and tell them if they don't, election day is soon to come. Yeah. I ask you, who is at fault here and who must change? In my closing paragraph, sentence, few words, <laughs> I thank you for your expression of a concern by attending this first step. But as I leave this podium, my hope is you will turn to the State House, show your face, voice your concerns, and demand action, whether via by phone internet, letter, or face-to-face. -face. Make your voice loud and clear, or I promise you, it will not be heard. Thank you.